Hey guys, it's me, Monk here, back here with another video. So today we're on day four, episode two of Skyward of Strong Game. Cool. Basically, for the past, ever since last video, uh, me and South China's had troops stacked on the border. Nobody wants to attack because basically the defending army just gets a bonus and stuff like that. So luckily, my ally, Burma, came from the south, attacked him, and forced him. So that kind of broke the salmon. He was forced to push into my country just as a last thing. So he had one stack of seven here, and I had a stack of eight. And he had a stack of 16, including the 17 here, and I had a stack of 15. So clearly, I won this battle. So I've taken out like just 17 of his units, 16 of his units here. Um, I took out three, two of them here, but he took out eight. So I'm getting some more units, and my tanks are almost done producing. So I'm gonna send them too. So Daryl was dead. And um, basically, what I'm gonna do is that after this is done, I'm gonna push into here, take this. I'm gonna take the city and just push because they had all of their army on me. So they have almost like no army left to defend. So I cannot take a lot of his land by for free. So yeah, fun stuff. Take everything out. Yum yum yum. Eat that stuff. Yum yum yum. <laughs> okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh boy, the newspaper's like freaking flooded. So yeah, we're not at this because like we have war we can't really have produced some of the stuff. Since it's so people are just saying oh no, shit. If you guys see Venezuela's going high. Uh, wow. Boy, this is <laughs> boy, 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 boy. So, yeah. Such uh, <laughs> so beef, boy, God. So, my other my other comedy chat is attacking the nationalists. Um, I don't even know who's gonna win that battle. Um, but in the meantime. Uh, screw that. Let's just zoom in and do some stuff. So, yes. <laughs> uh, screw this good. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm honestly, I already, okay. So, logically, th this is a pretty idiotic idea to do. I would say idiotic, but it would have saved me some resources. Not really resources, but stuff. But honestly, at this point, I'm way too impatient. And this single attack. So, so when you do a force march, takes. That's all you have to. And this thing coming over here, fed the city, and yes. <laughs> so I'm just humming to the song. This too. Um, yeah, I had to wear headphones while listening to it because I can't, can't be in the video. I wasn't getting copy strike. So I'm gonna same, um, so I can technique turn to do a me. So I know Nash's China had troops coming here because, um, my friend Burma had was attacking it through here and he had like a five minutes from here, so I don't wanna. Alright, so yes, I'm gonna get this work as good as possible, and there's reasons for that. Basically, um, okay, so yes, I was just thinking of something. Basically, the longer I spend, like, in this war, like, I need to get these cities quick. The longer I spend, the lo more time I'm not, um, uh, more time not spending, um, expanding, getting more industrial complex and resources come and letting others get that. Basically, that's the point. More time letting other people expand, get resources, get in get industry, 
get a bigger army while I'm just still at war. So I want to get this done with. Um, there's like four major coalitions right now. Um, in Asia, we have this Greater East Asia Corporation, which are taking out these two guys. And the other two guys are pretty far away, like, Japan is sitting over here attacking Korea. Karvavorsk is here, and... See, it's a threat, because they're moving in, but... Who knows? Um... There's this Asian Fighters one, with, um, Mongolia, Maklik, and Xinjiang, so... And they're at war with this coalition. Don't even know what... It's a weird name. Oh, it's Tibet, Pakistan, and uh, Persia. So... Oh, and these guys. Mm, 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 mm. So they're going to be weakened. Uh, that's these two coalitions, or whoever wins. But they're going to get strong. So... I'm not going to do these two so, so, so... The problem is, is that if these three get taken out by this coalition, the problem is, is that... This coach is going to get strong. Sure, they'll be injured after the war, but they're going to be strong in just a little while. So I can't let them do that, or we can't let them do that. So I want to quickly try to finish up side of China. And um, as, as, as soon as I finish up, I'm going to transfer the troops to, east, to this front and take out Maklik and Mongolia. Because I know they're going to die anyways. I'm pretty sure they're going to die anyways. So they are going to die anyways. So if I so it's better that I actually take some of that land for myself instead of like that whole instead of like that coalition take everything. So it's better so instead of like that coalition take everything, it's better that I take at least a bit of land and weaken them at least a bit and save myself a bit. So yeah, we start building a industrial complex here. We're low on rare, but that's okay. Mm -mm -mm. I should get a new province. So it's a look at this, which will help. With that, um, I want to see what the casualty counts are. Um, oh my, Boy, is that kind of um, what's it called? Casualties. Okay. Um. So yes, our tanks are getting produced. I'm um, in five hours. That'll be nice. So I'll have them ready for tomorrow morning. I can. I'll use them to finish this up. And mop them up quicker. Or I can send them. I mean, I won't attack because the five years, four years will be enough. So I might as well actually use them to mop up South China quicker and then help my ally get nationalist China. And then do some other stuff. Um, yeah, that should help. Uh, a lot. Uh, so we have a good amount of money. You spy a city in their capital. So we're searching destroyers and artillery. <laughs> so I'm up level two here because I want to start building rockets after they're done researching. Cause like um things where it's like a stalemate, right? Like what's happening like right now? What was happening right now? Uh rock is really good for attacking then. I did level one, really. I didn't know that. Oh, that was a waste of And then again, I kind of needed to build tactical bombers, so it's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So it's kind of worth it, anyways. That way, they can't take you know, out. So it's like three coalitions, four coalitions. It's more like five, because. The fifth one down south. Offseas and uh, New Zealand, so. Not a threat, but there's a little with some. So basically, spies, some spies, um, can, um, like, sometimes intelligent spies can expose what messages you're talking about or your enemy's talking about. So that's why, um, 
So instead of like chatting and actual here mainly we touch in Discord. So Discord's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, so oh, fun stuff. They shall die. <sighs> They're gonna die. I'm winning this war for sure. I know last time I in the other fan gave me I put a Sweden. And I got basically instantly killed. I was in the first country to die. It was sad life. I got gangbanged by Germany and him saying, mm -mm -mm -mm. I love countries in Lithuania, but the capital city is actually of Latvia. Europe, there's two major coalitions. These guys are most of the guy. The fuck? These guys. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um. So yeah, fun stuff happening right now. Game's going really nice. So I really don't know what's gonna happen, and like if I'm gonna win the war, but I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing after I win. Cause it really depends on like what carbivores and car carbor I don't even care. These guys said you because it depends if they want to attack us or not. But I probably want to go after these two like kids. So yes, um, games gonna look pretty good. So guys, yeah, that's good for today's um uh, video day four, right? So yeah, be sure to subscribe for some more good content and peace.